What made me want to become a nurse was the idea of helping others. The heart and my passion lies with being a positive male role model for students. It's a lot of people doing everything that they can to make other people's lives better. And I'm really excited to be a contributing factor in that. There are a lot of jobs out there, a lot of careers and professions, but our profession serves this higher purpose, uh, committing your life to the service of others that is threaded throughout our program. You come to UHeart looking to find a place where you can learn, but you actually find that UHeart is more than that. It's also a community of professors and students who encourage and um, inspire one another to learn and be their best selves. The University of Hartford is a very welcoming campus. It's close-knit because it is small, so you get to know your faculty, you get to know your advisors, the people in the classroom with you. Our faculty are very passionate and also very hands-on. So you aren't just a number in a group of students. You get that very interactive relationship that you build four years even plus the three years of the grad program over those seven years with the faculty. One of the things that I enjoy about our programs is getting our students out in the field from the very first semester. Within our campus, our students have tons of opportunities to go into the classrooms and see best practices being modeled firsthand. The University of Harvard really emphasizes getting us out into the field early and giving us a wide variety and unique opportunity to visit different types of classrooms in different areas. And when it comes to student teaching, I really valued being in a classroom where I could learn from a professor and from somebody who is trusted from the university. One of the things that we do in our education program is to be sure that we provide students with field work and student teaching experiences right from the beginning of their program. And so they see role models in the field and begin to develop those skills, not only as individual classroom teachers, but to observe from their professors and from their supervisors in the field what they need to do to be advocates for children and for schools. We have a state-of-the-art simulation lab with the high-fidelity simulators and mannequins. And it really helps students develop their patient skills before they step foot in the hospital. It seems like everybody, every teacher that I've had is very willing to take the time with their students to make sure that they can succeed and do the best that they can. And they provide whatever resources they have. The more you ask and the more you use your professor's resources, the more they're going to help you achieve what you want to achieve. We provide a lot of guidance, especially when they're in clinical. The second they step foot in clinical, there's tremendous support from their clinical instructor. In all of our various healthcare program, we talk about not only the technical skills that students will need to be competent healthcare providers, but what are the other broader skills that will enable them to not only care for their clients, but to advocate and to take leadership roles in advocating for quality patient care. What we're doing to prepare students is making them aware of how important their advocacy is on patient outcomes and how important they are to the care team to really be that glue that holds everyone together to ensure that our patients are getting the best possible care. I love every second of it, working with people and getting to see them kind of in their lows and help them progress to get healthier. It's a very rewarding experience. I feel that the first patient that you help and you just interact with is an icebreaker because once you talk to that first person you feel more confident in yourself and everything starts feeling a little bit more real as to when you become a nurse. Every single nursing student that we have I see someone that one day will be caring for my mom or my dad or a family member and I want to have nurses entering the workforce who are completely prepared to take care of those people that I love. Commencement every year is very emotional for me. 
just seeing all of our students walk across the stage. And it's great to see their families and friends and loved ones really see them realize their dream.